What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Another video in quarantine, another quarantine themed video. I hope that's okay. It's really all I got, so. Since quarantine has started, you gotta, you gotta make the best of what you have. So when it comes to creating an Instagram feed, you just gotta make do. You just gotta find ways to get by while at home, which is the same for everything right now. You just gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta get through it. So for today's video, I thought I would show you guys how I have been having photo shoots on my own with no one else to help me here and how I've created a really cute and aesthetic feed at home. I actually have found it to be almost easier to create an aesthetic and like cohesive feed feed while at home because I can like figure out the colors I want and everything can be perfectly planned to the way I want it. Whereas if you go out in the world, you know, something in the background might not match the color scheme of your feet. And I realized how you know, obviously silly that sounds, but I have gotten so many requests on Instagram to do a video like this. I personally think that my feed is looking really good right now. I'm quite proud of it. So I thought I would show you guys super simple ways to make a really cool feed at home. There's tons of different videos online right now of you know how to do this and there are all these like super creative photo shoots that people are doing by themselves but to be completely honest that's just not me i'm not like dramatic look kind of person these are very like simple and very easy ideas so if you're not looking for super simple you know maybe find another video but today i'm just going to show you guys what i personally have been doing to create my feed. And all you need really is what you have around your house. You don't need to go out and get anything. Unless you wanna make things easier on yourself, but like we'll get into that. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy this video, definitely make sure to subscribe and let me know other videos you wanna see in quarantine down in the comments. But without further ado, let's get into the very first shoot idea. Everything is upside down. So I actually did this a few weeks ago and it was such a game changer. This is so effortless. But it just, it totally changes the look of your photo. It's gonna look like you shot it in a studio, whereas you really just took what you had at home and made it work. So all you need is a white sheet or actually really like a bed sheet of any color. I personally went for a white sheet because that's what I had. And also I just like the look of a white fabric background, but this can be done with any color. Like I think it would actually be really cool to get like pastel colors and do it with those. Or, oh my God, you could even tie dye the white sheet and then you have a tie dye background. So cool. So what I did was I took my sheet and I just stuck it on the wall. I took a couple of nails, hammered it into the wall. So I'm definitely gonna have holes, but it's okay. We will get whole filler and it's gonna be fine. But if you do live with your parents or you live at home or you're in a rental, you should maybe check <laughs> to see if you're okay to do that. Since my walls are white, I wanted it to look a little bit different. So I made sure there was a little bit of slouchiness in the sheet so you can kind of see the, uh, I don't know the word, not wrinkles, but like the slouchies, the droops. I, I don't know. And I made sure mine went down far enough on the wall so that there was a little bit on the ground as well to sit on, just so that it looks like a full on studio setup. And there's a couple ways of actually shooting this. So you can set up a self timer on like a little tripod, set up some books if you don't have an actual tripod, stack them and then like lean your phone in the right direction. And then you can just do set timer on your phone. Super, super easy. I actually bought like a little tripod and iPhone clicker on Amazon. I'll link the one that I have down below. It's so simple. Although mine was having some technical difficulties this day, but typically it's really, really easy. You just click and then it shoots. So you can just keep clicking. Obviously you have to kind of like strategically place your hand behind your back or angle it in a way where you can't see the clicker, but that's really easy. So that's one way to do it. Another way is to set up a mirror in front of the white sheet. And then you can just shoot mirror pictures in front of it. It kind of looks cool. I personally really like the way that mirror pics look now. I feel like it's very trendy. It is honestly mirror pic season over here. I am living on my own. There is no one here to shoot my pictures. So we have really gotten acquainted with the mirrors these days. This shoot idea is so simple, so easy, and so, so cute. I highly recommend. If you do try it or any of these, definitely send me pictures because I would love to see them. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. The second thing I got off of TikTok, this was obviously very, very trendy. People were taking their mirrors outside and shooting in the sunlight and shooting outside with like the sky as the background. So I just, you know, grabbed any mirror I had. I have a lot of different kinds of mirrors, but I thought this one would be the easiest to bring around versus like my full length mirrors. So I just place it outside and try to angle it as much as I could to where you can just see the sky. Uh, this was a lot more complicated than anticipated. I have shot 
photos outside like multiple times with my mirrors. But doing the TikTok version, very, very difficult. This was not as easy as people make it look. People look so like effortless and glowy and majestic and all those fun terms. It, it just, it just didn't work the way I anticipated. If someone can let me know how everyone's taking these pics and like looking good, um, it's like not happening and I'm sweating to death. The photos still look cool, if only I could look cool in them. That was, that was the complication. Someone let me know how these pictures are coming out cute for people because it's not, it's not working. So I shot these in the middle of the day. Sun was bright as heck and my eyes were burning. Like they were burning. My pupils, I could not, I couldn't keep my eyes open. I actually don't know how people do this. Actually, I asked on Instagram, how do people do this? I don't understand. And everyone said, you should probably do it around golden hour so your eyes aren't burning, which makes a lot of sense. So if you try this one, do it not in the middle of the day. And if you did happen to do this in the middle of the day and your photos turned out stunning, please, please show me. Like DM them to me, I, I have to see them. I've seen so many beautiful versions of them and I'm very sad. It just didn't work out for me. So maybe I'll try again and we'll see. And the third shoot idea, it's not really an idea, but the third thing that I've been doing to take photos in my home is moving my full length mirror around all over my home, both inside and outside. The mirror that I've been moving is a, a hundred pounds. So it's been, it's been a nice arm workout. <laughs> there are so many spots around your room or your house that you can get different angles and different perspectives that will really create an interesting looking feed. I've literally been just carrying my mirror around everywhere to get all different shots. Like I'll take pictures in the mirror's regular spot. It's for usual home. And then I'll move it to a furniture piece that I really like. And I feel like I would typically never get a photo in front of this piece, but bringing the mirror in, I think it just looks really, really cool and different. I've also done this upstairs in my bedroom and I've positioned the mirror in like a direction where my bed is in it and I can pose in a really cool way that I don't typically do. And then I've also brought it outside, like I said, and I shot this in a different way than the TikTok way. And I really like the way it turned out. You know, there's so many cool possibilities and so many different places. You can just position it in front of just a plain white wall and get like a super minimal look. I think it's really, really cool, a lot of fun. All you have to do is just, you know, change a million times and move the mirror around a million times. And then you have really, really cool pictures to post on Instagram. Now I want to talk a little bit about some poses for mirror pictures because it can definitely be a little difficult. Like it's really easy just to stand there and like smile, but it can look really awkward. So I figured I would show you guys some poses that I like to do that I think look a little more effortless. So obviously you can do like a really cute little sitting shot, not necessarily just like crossing your legs and sitting there cross-legged and smiling, but a little bit more casual, more relaxed. As you can see here, super, super easy, obviously. <laughs> You're just sitting. And you can also do like a little lean to the side thing. I like this one a lot too. Very cute, very simple. Obviously you can still do a standing shot. What I like to do is have one foot more in front of the other one and then just kind of angle my body in a way where you look a little bit more in shape than you really are. Maybe like a little hand on the hip action, you know, but in like a cool way. <laughs> I feel like it's always cute and really flattering. It'll really emphasize your waist. Or you can even do like a little hand in the pocket situation. You can also go a little bit closer to the mirror. You can do like one arm kind of up on your face and you can kind of use your hand to um, add a little bit of a different look. I actually have a whole video on poses you can do. I'm gonna link it down below in case you guys wanna check that one out. You can also lean back on a piece of furniture. This works too. It's basically just like a prop and it really adds a lot to a picture, I think. I really love using props. It makes things feel a lot less awkward for some reason. You know, if you bring in a chair and you sit on the chair, there's so many different ways you can sit on the chair to create a different look. And it just makes it a lot less awkward, I think. But honestly, just have fun with it. Take photos of anything in your home that might inspire you, whether it's like a cute shelf or, you know, cute anything, you know, your makeup of the day. I mean, there's just so many endless options. What I really like to do is check Pinterest for some inspo and some of my favorite bloggers on Instagram and see what kind of poses they're doing. And then I will get inspired by them. And I will try to do something similar that makes me feel as confident as they look. Just have fun with it. Be confident in yourself and your skin and have fun at the end of the day. I think taking pictures is so much fun. It's one of my favorite hobbies. And yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing to create a really cute Instagram feed at home. If you're not following me on Instagram, you absolutely should. I put a lot of work into it and I love posting on my stories. My Instagram is gonna be linked down below. It's just at I'm Tara Michelle. I also have all of my other socials linked in the description. My vlog channel, which I post three times a week on, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then we post here Tuesday. So we got four videos a week in quarantine. We are, we are crushing it.
in my personal opinion. I'm actually amazed I've been able to keep up with that, uh, but we are making it work. But that is about it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some kind of inspiration from it. I hope you guys are doing well, staying healthy, staying sane, and we are all gonna get through this together eventually. <laughs> and I don't really know when, but we're gonna get through it. It's gonna end and life is gonna go back to what we know and love eventually. I don't know. So keep your head up. We're gonna get through it. Uh, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.